Welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to create a simulation schematic. So in this video, I will create a schematic for PCB manufacturing. We all know that schematic is an important part of PCB design. The components and the footprints in the schematic correspond to the PCB. Although some components do not contain footprints in the simulation schematic, we can easily convert a simulation schematic into a PCB schematic. I will show you how to draw a PCB schematic with and without a simulation schematic. This is the simulation schematic we have created before. Now I will convert this schematic into a PCB schematic. First, we need to create a new schematic. Click your folder and right click to create a new schematic. Or you can click here to create a new one. Ctrl S to add your schematic to the project. In order to distinguish them, we need to rename them. Underscore SIM stands for simulation schematic. The naming of the other one is the same. Underscore SCH stands for PCB schematic. Click and delete the sheet. Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Delete the simulation time. For this power supply, we can choose the components in ELIP to replace. Here we can choose a USB socket to replace the power supply. Use the pull down menu to choose a different type of USB socket. Here we choose a micro USB socket for power supply. Delete the power source. Place a 5 volt and GND net flag. This text of GND can be deleted or hidden. We can directly select and delete it or click the whole flag. And we can see that there is a display name option on the right. Select no here to hide its name. The fixed end of USB socket is also grounded. We don't need this logic analyzer, so we delete it. Ctrl S to save. Now we need to specify the footprint for the component, and this requires our very useful tool, Footprint Manager. There are two ways to enter. The first way is to select any component on the schematic. There is a footprint text box on the right. Single click and you can enter the footprint manager. Or you can click tools, footprint manager. We can notice that there are four LEDs, but for this schematic, we can only find two of them. This is because the other two LEDs are in the simulation schematic. However, we don't actually need a simulation schematic for PCB design, so here we need to disable it. Select any component in the schematic and we can see there is a convert to PCB option on the right. Select no here. Press and hold control for multiple selections and do the same for the rest of the components. Ctrl S to save. Back to our PCB schematic, enter the footprint manager. We can see there are three components without a footprint, and the rest already have. We can copy the footprint name, paste, and search here. Click this one. Let's check if the pins are correct. There is a problem. This pin should be connected to the emit pin. And we can correct pin configuration here. Now the pins have been matched. Click update. Well, this component has already matched a footprint. We can select the remaining two LEDs and modify them at once. Search the OA05. There are many classes. But we recommend choosing the LCSC. Choose this one. 
we can notice that its cathode and anode are reversed, and we can modify it here. Click Update. Now all components are matched with footprints. We can select multiple similar components and then modify the footprint at once here. Ctrl S to save. Next, let's try to convert it to PCB. Click Yes to check our nets. Here is some warning. You can see the details here. The warning tells us that these pins are not connected. To solve this problem, we need to place a not connect flag. Click here to refresh. Let's check this warning. This warning comes from this logic analyzer. The logic analyzer is in our simulation schematic. If we put a not connect flag on it, the simulation will not work properly. So we just ignore these warnings. Back to PCB schematic. Tools convert to PCB. Now we can skip the net check. This window is used to set the PCB outline, but we can set it later, so click Cancel. Ctrl S to add PCB to the project. Now we have created the PCB schematic by modifying the simulation schematic and convert it to PCB. But sometimes we don't need a simulation. Next, I will draw the schematic from the blank, and it is very simple. Click the file to create a new project. Select an owner. Enter your title. After creating the project, it will automatically pop up a schematic page. Ctrl S to add this schematic to our project. We can place some components from our ELI. Use the pull-down menu to choose a different type of component. Here I recommend a good way to choose a component. That is search in the library. For example, we need a 200 ohms resistor. Choose LCS Electronic as the search engine. Here you can choose different footprints and manufacturers. Click Apply Filters. Find the component you want and click Place. Then you can place it on your schematic. And after exporting the BOOM or bill of material, you can use the BOOM to purchase directly at LCS Electronics. Let's draw this schematic for demonstration. There needs a resistor, capacitor, LED and transistor. We can directly search here. 10K ohms resistor. Copy a 200 ohms resistor. Search 9013 transistor. One hundred microfarads capacitor. We can choose an SMD capacitor here. We also need a USB socket for power supply. Search micro USB here. After wiring up these components, then you can convert this schematic to the PCB. In the next video, I will show you how to design a PCB layout. Goodbye.